again. Five zero, open up. こんにちは皆さん。私シージと妻のエイリーンのチャンネルにようこそ。This is Aileen. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is part one of our tour of Steve McGarrett's house. Oh, by the way, the guy right there with the sunglasses, the bellman, that's Bruno Mars' uncle. Really? Oh. I swear to God. Uh -huh. This is the Moana Surf Rider, very first hotel built in the state of Hawaii. Oh. This is the police substation here in Waikiki. You see all the um, the lays there? Yeah. That's a memorial to some of our um, police officers that were um, oh. killed in, on duty recently. Have you guys heard about the shooting no, that took no. place? Yes, yeah. yeah. This is the Duke Kahanamoku statue here. He won several gold medals for the um, United States for swimming. Mm -hmm. And he was actually the ambassador of surfing. So he taught lots of celebrities how to surf. People like Shirley Temple, the Rat Pack, and so on and so forth. But he died many years ago. But yeah. he did teach lots of celebrities how to surf. Really. And by the way, this is the birthplace of surfing here to, to the right of us, if you didn't know. Surfing was invented here hundreds of years ago. Uh -huh. It was a sport that was reserved for kings or alihis, which are basically people of royal blood. So if you got caught swimming or surfing out here hundreds of years ago and you didn't have royal blood, they would possibly reprimand you by breaking a bone. Wow. Which they don't do anymore. So we tell people to take advantage of the situation, right? Right. But this is Queens Beach right here. This is where surfing started. Uh -huh. Alright. Lovely. And as you can see, we're doing some tree trimming it looks like up ahead. So Typical Waikiki congestion, right? Yes. You have to trim all the coconuts off the trees so they don't fall down and hit the tourist on the head. <laughs> if you look to the right here, you can see the Waikiki Wall, which is kind of the border of Waikiki. But this is also where we do a thing called Sunset on the Beach every year. We watch uh, movies at night, uh, once a month. And in September, typically around September 20th or so, they do the premiere for Hawaii Five-O and for Magnum PI right here. Wow. Right. They air it one week to, um, before it premieres on television. So that way, um, all the fans get a chance to meet and greet with the actors for the show. They do a red carpet event here. So a lot of people like to plan their next vacation around when they do that, if you're a fan of the show, I suppose. Everybody shows up, everybody works with the audio show. Japan is one of my favorite places in the world. If I could find a way to live there full time, I absolutely would. Um, and I'm, I'm just so grateful uh, that you guys support our show, and we'll, we'll continue to do our best to, uh, to to bring you the best show possible. Thank you so much. Uh, arigatou gozaimasu. We just entered into Kapiolani Park here, guys, which is our second largest city and county park. It's about 2.4 miles around the outskirts, so it's a good place to get some exercise. But if you look to your left here, you'll see Diamond Head Crater, which is the backdrop of Waikiki. And if you didn't know, this is a very popular hike, which starts in the center of the crater, you work your way up to the top, and it overlooks the southern and eastern shoreline of the island of Oahu. So you actually go through some of the bunkers when you do the hike, so if you ever wanted to experience that, that's where you go for this. World War I Memorial to your right, this is called the Natatorium. Uh, most people don't realize we had over 25,000 troops from Hawaii take place in World War I. So this is a memorial to them. We got Kaimana Beach here to your right. This is uh, where they film a bunch of scenes for Hawaii Five-0, but also where the cool people hang out. So this is probably where you guys want to be, right? <laughs> so right now we're making our way towards the base of Diamond Head, and it kind of overlooks this beautiful beach park. Uh, it's also where they film some of the scenes with Dano, where he kind of goes to contemplate life a bit. But after we go past Diamond Head, guys, I'm just going to briefly drive you past the um, film studios so you can tell where that's located. And then we're going to make our way out towards the Bear Estate from there, okay? okay. Which is also known as McGarrett's House. 
Typically, we have about 10 people per tour, but today, for some reason, it's only the three of us, so we <laughs> should get more of a personalized experience, I suppose. Yeah, we are lucky. So that incident that took place with the police officers where they were killed by this kind of mentally uh, challenged person mm -hmm. um, it took place right here. Wow. See all the burnt houses? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. He shot the officers and then he, he lit the house on fire and then he shot himself. Uh, which is kind of terrible really. The female officer that was killed was my neighbor. She lives in my building. Wow. Oh. All right, welcome to the base of Diamond Head, guys. Beautiful estates along the coastline mm. here. And uh, periodically, you'll have these parks in between which give you access to the shore because nobody can own the shoreline itself. Oh. You have to have public access, right? They sometimes do yoga in the park here to the right of us. <laughs> and well, not today, yeah. I guess, huh? Good for you, man. Look to your right guys, you see the beautiful view that you get from here. It's also one of our lover's points, but we also come here to watch for whales from time to time. Lover's this point. is the time of the year that we get whales here, okay? They come from Alaska, but they also come from Australia. One of two lighthouses that we have on the island. This is actually the main residence for the commander of the Coast Guard for the Pacific region. One of the perks to his job is that he gets to live on that property that overlooks this great view. So. The winds are really light today, which makes for a nice uh, surfing conditions. And this is also a good place for beginner surfers, so if you ever wanted to come back and give it a shot, this is a good place for that. Ooh, busy today, huh? Because of the conditions of the surf. Yes. Wow. It's a big day, but yeah, oh yeah. Mind if we stop and take a look at to where they filmed the Dano scenes? Yes, yeah. please. Okay. Let's go take a look, yes. guys. Beautiful. Around here. I think so. Uh, Got the gimbal, huh? <laughs> that uh, nice. I want to see. <laughs> wow, that was a feat for me. Was it? Yes, that was very cold here. Well, beautiful weather today, guys. Yeah, right sunny. Don't do it. By the way, if anybody needs a photographer today, I'm here for you. Look behind you, you can see some of the pillboxes and bunkers that were used during World War II. So this is kind of where you went. But if you don't want to do the hike, you can come here and get the same experience without having to do the work, you know? Right. It's fine. <laughs> do that anyway. <laughs> so where they film those scenes with my um, with Dana. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right, guys. 
If you look to your left here, can you see those two Roman volcanic craters? The one on the right is called Coco Crater. Ah, uh, Coco Crater. And the one on the left is called Coco Head Crater. Uh. The Coco Crater on the right is the backside of a place called Hanama Bay. It's a fish sanctuary. I just saw a whale up there. Yeah. Well, I saw the spout. And by the way, look at the hydrofoilers. You see these guys over here pumping the boards right now? Does anybody know what a hydrofoil is? You look at these pumping back to the lineup. You see that? Give me that one. Moving fast? Uh, yes. The guy that's pumping, well, he just crashed. Ah, uh, there. On the bottom of those surfboards, there's a skeg about this long. Wow. And there's a fin that goes like this. So what happens is when you get momentum, it elevates you out of the water by a couple of feet. And then you kind of just pump your way back and forth. So that's the latest uh, invention with surfing. Getting back to the crater, uh, Hanama Bay, yes. popular snorkeling place, right? It's a fish sanctuary, so when you swim there, it's like you're in a big fish tank, really. Mm. Very uh, anxiety free if you're not a strong swimmer. But the um, crater on the left is called Coco Head Crater, and that's a very popular hike amongst yes. the crossfitters. They like to put weights in their backpacks and they run up and down the mountain. But if you watch Hawaii 5 0, that's where you see Steve McGarrett running up and down the, the mountain with the train tracks. So that's Coco Head Crater, okay? That's where they film those scenes. Wow. Yeah. It's a little over 1,200 steps. So yeah. it can be a challenge, especially yeah. if you're not a, a physical person, I suppose. But between those two craters and Diamond Head, which is behind us, there is a big bay. Uh, and this bay is called Mauna Lua Bay. Mauna Lua Bay. That's also where uh, the Garrett's house is. So that's where we're headed to today, okay? Okay, look in this direction there. Can you guys see the next island over? Mm -hmm. It's approximately 42 island. miles away. Mm -hmm look along the horizon that's the island of Molokai oh. that's right which is approximately 42 miles away from the far eastern corner of our island here that island to Waikiki which is about 50 miles long so you got to be in tip-top shape to do that when it's a long way down <laughs> yeah but the, it's the most prestigious Albuquerque paddle race in the world teams from all over the world come, even from Aotearoa and then all the traditions they do very well and so do the but anyway I just wanted you guys to have the opportunity to see this look up where'd the whale go? disappeared already huh? can you see the color change in the water? that reflects the depth so right where it's turned a little darker, that's how close the whales get to us. And that's why this is such a good place to um, come and watch the whales. You see the surfer right here? You see him pumping? Yes, oh, he just did a flip. Never mind. Uh -huh. The guy next to him is also on a hydrofoil. Uh -huh. See the skeg? Yeah. They make it look easy, but it's actually quite hard. It is. Look, it just, <laughs> it just flipped. It just flipped. Well, we're a product of our environment. You know, water temperature here is typically about 74 degrees. Yeah. Alright, do you guys have any more questions before we move on to the next place? So the jungle scenes are typically shot on the windward coast of the island because that's where uh, we have the most rain and it's very green and lush. So right adjacent to Kaneohe Bay is a place where they typically film a lot of those scenes. But they also film a lot of stuff at Kulo Ranch, which is also on the windward coast. Do you know why they choose this place to film? Because just like uh, um, New Zealand, we have no snakes. We have no deadly spiders. It's anxiety free. So they can be on location and make it look like just about anywhere because we have 11 of them. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, whatever. Right? So it's very diverse. Yeah, they make it look like um, another country. That's right. But we don't have any ticks or chiggers or poison oak or poison ivy. So and the movie studio is here, so they have all the equipment. They don't have to ship it in from other places. And they said they're going to go to North Korea and around here, right? Yes, because uh, first of all, we're not allowed to go to that country. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, yeah, it'd be too expensive, right? Because they're, they have a certain budget that they want to stay within in order to do 24 episodes. Right. And today, um, this, uh, I guess this is so 
Uh, not anymore. Um, you know, initially they tried to do their own stunts, but you watch the very first season, you'll notice Dano, he was wearing a, ca a cast in his yeah. leg because he actually hurt himself doing his own stunt. But they just kind of ripped that into the script saying, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just have him in the, in the, in the cast until, because we, we had a lot of people here waiting for the show and they couldn't wait for him to his leg to do that. So, yeah, that's why they don't, they, they no longer have them do their own stunts just because of that aspect. It's liability and cost. But Steve always does his stunts, right? By yeah, himself. that's his own. Like he flies out and jumps into the water. Ah. He's slowing down on that stuff as of right now. Yeah. Yes, but he does like to do his own stunts, except, you know, they want him around to do more episodes. So if he hurts himself, that's going to ruin production. So right, right. typically they would prefer that the stunt doubles do their own stunts. All right, it's warming up a little bit, huh? Yeah. All right, let's make our way back to the car, okay? Okay. Here with family, or are you traveling by yourself? Myself. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, you do? Nice. Much easier. As long as you're enjoying yourself. That's oh, I'm enjoying myself. Perfect. I did paragliding. Is that I've never done in my life. You did paragliding? What? <laughs> so you went tandem with somebody else, right? Very active. Wow. How was that? <laughs> we tried parasailing. Oh, oh you did the like parasailing. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, let's try and get out of here. It's very crowded today. So this is a nice day. Yeah, it is. This lunch with Darren, is, is, is it with the whole class or just him alone? Pardon me? Lunch with my Garrett. Okay, so the characters won't be here today yeah. for the show. Oh, they're usually a, not there, right? Yes. But we, yeah, that would be really expensive if we did that, right? But, yeah, um, yeah. No, we get to go and hang out at the house that they film uh, okay, for McGarrett. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But unfortunately, the real characters won't be there today. Yeah. Next week, we're going to have that character Flipper um, join our team. So oh, he'll be Flipper. Doing, yeah. so there's so many scenes, right? Yeah. But, um, they film a lot of the road scenes on the North Shore and also on the eastern side of the island because that's where the scenic drive is there oh, along yeah. the Kaibi coastline, is what it's called. All right, is everyone, um, are you familiar with that there were two Hawaii 5 0 shows? The older Hawaii 5 from 1968 to 1980. And then the current show went from 2010 to present day. So we're almost matching its uh, the time uh, period from the very first show, really. So oh, that's why it's kind of winding down at the moment. Mm -hmm. but I'm going to play a little recap video for both shows, okay? Is that okay with you guys? Yeah. I'm Randy Spangler. Behind us is the Ilikai Hotel, which is the famous helicopter shot zooming in to Jack Lord on the balcony. Wo Fat Restaurant behind me, from which we took the name Wo Fat, the arch villain of McGarrett in Hawaii 5 0. I put this heavy latex watertight mask over your face. Where McGarrett's office was, we always filmed the front, the inside was our Diamond Head soundstage. This is the Kahala Condominiums. This is where Jack and Marie Lord lived. In fact, like CBS helped them buy it when the show first started. We're at the Kahala Hotel, which back in the 5-0 days was the place where everybody stayed. All right. Does anybody, uh, did you ever watch the old Hawaii 5-0 show at all? It's much different, you know, because they, the way that they filmed um, television back then was much more serious. And I think now it's more lighthearted for sure. All right, up ahead to the right of us, guys. This is the film studio. And um, if they weren't filming at the moment, you would drive past this uh, parking lot and you would see a lot of the cars that they utilize for the show. Yeah. Like McGarrett's Silverado trucks. Right. You would yes. see the um, yes, yes. now black Camaros. Yeah. And then you would also see the police cars and some of the black SUVs for the bad guys um, that uh -huh. they use for the show. Uh -huh. It's typically parked in here, but because they're filming at the moment, all these cars are not on the lot at, at the moment. So but, they're filming. They're wrapping up filming season uh, 10 at the moment, wow, yes. Okay. They're just doing the last minute touch-up scenes actually. But they're about to conclude and then they'll be done. And they won't come back until August in order to start filming again. It's a long wait. That's <laughs> right. We look to the right of us here guys, this is the film studio. You can see yeah. some of the cars there, you see the police cars? Yeah. 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 These are all the, um, the fake ones that they use for the show. <laughs> this is the casting offices to your right. A lot of people at this time of year like to sign up to be extras for the show because who better to play tourist than tourists, right? Right. It's kind of a boring <laughs> job to be honest. 
They say, hey, bring your empty luggage to you, with you <laughs> to um, Hilton Hawaiian Village Hotel. And so they go, action! You walk across the lobby and cut. But you do that all day. Right. So it's not that exciting to be honest. And sometimes you see the main actor and sometimes you don't. So you just never know, really. Right. I do that back home. I, I'm extras in a lot of movies. Oh, you have been? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So you know what it's like, yeah? Yeah. They feed you and they pay you like $120 a day. <laughs> That's about it. It's so boring. But it's very boring. Most people don't realize how boring it is until you're doing it. Really. And this big warehouse over there where you see those trucks is where you see Kamakonos. Uh, there's some police cars, oh, yeah. ambulances. That's also where they store Kamakona shrimp trucks sometimes. You might be utilizing it for a scene someplace. But it's kind of a tan colored van with one blue shrimp and one red shrimp. Kono's, uh, shrimp. Oh, uh, well. Wow. Which uh, looks like This truck is all this station. So they utilize it for two different locations no. typically. One wow. is at Ala Moana Beach Park at a place called Magic wow. Island. Yep. And the second place is right adjacent to the Hilton Hawaiian Village. Next oh. to the lagoon. Okay. And we're going to drive past there a little later today, so I'll show you guys those filming locations, okay? Yeah. Okay. But as of right now, we're going to make our way through Kahala, which is where um, all the cast used to live. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to make our way towards McGarrett's house. So this isn't the character. He doesn't live here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the owners who uh, own the property are nice enough to allow us to come and hang out at their house for an hour. Mm -hmm. But they live there, and they'll probably be there today. And no other Hawaii 5 tourists get a chance to go here, which is good, right? So. Right. All right, welcome to the Kahala area. Wow. Beautiful estates here. You're going to see a bunch of uh, empty lots. Mm -hmm. There's an empty lot up ahead of us that just recently sold, and now it's back on the market, so it probably fell out of escrow, but... Uh, 2.76 acres, oceanfront property, no house. Mm. How much do you think they sold it for? How much? Million? How many? Yes. How much do you say, honey? Your guess, your uh, guess. How much? Five million. Five Expensive million. area. I'll show you the property. This is the property right here. It's back on the market, but guess how much it's listed for? <laughs> Forty-eight million dollars. Uh, why? No house, just the land. Oh no! Because this is a desirable neighborhood. It's right past Diamond Head, oceanfront property. Uh, quite nice expensive. Location. Yeah. yeah. But you see a lot of these thing. empty lots up and down this roadway here, and they were actually owned by an eccentric Japanese billionaire, and his name was Sukamto. Mm. Are you familiar with who he was? I don't know. Oh, no. This was a few years back, but. Um, he was a developer and he was here on business. His wife came to visit him from Japan, uh -huh. uh, but she didn't have her visa paperwork in order. So they sent her back to Japan and he got upset with the state of Hawaii. So he purchased a few of these lots or um, beautiful estates, let the landscaping go, broke all the windows, graffitied the outside of the houses, invited homeless people to come and stay on these properties, which in turn brought the surrounding property values down. Mm -hmm. And then he purchased more property. So. That was a pretty smart idea on his part, but unfortunately he went to jail for tax evasion mm -hmm. and he had to file for bankruptcy. So now all of these properties are out of his hands. Mm -hmm. They were in such disarray that they had to level the properties down. And so that's what you're seeing here. All the empty lots here, they were all Sukamto properties at one time. Okay. Does anybody here play golf? It's a mental sport, that's for sure. His dad is a good golf player. Oh yeah? But yeah. I'm not. <laughs> oh nice. This house here to your right with the wooden gate. They just completed this house for Bill Gates. Wow. Bill Gates. That tells you the type of neighbor that you'll find in the area. And I don't even know if he's ever lived here, but that's one of many houses that I'm sure he owns around the world. The Kahala Hotel is just to the right of us here. Um, and that's where the presidents would stay whenever they're in town. And that's because um, their motorcades would cause less congestion. They stay in here and not in one key. Right. right. The reason why I asked if anybody plays golf is because the Wildlife Country Club is right to the right of us here. This is the second stop of the PGA Tour. This is where the Sony Open takes place. So, very popular um, golf tournament. Okay, so right now we're making our way to the Bear Estate. I'm going to play more video for you guys, okay? okay. And all the video that I'm going to show you kind of pertains to the house itself. Yeah. They filmed over a hundred episodes at the Bear Estate, which is known as McGarrett's house. And so if you kind of study the video, when we get to the house, you can kind of go, oh, 
I remember that. I remember where they filmed that scene there and so on and so forth, right? Are you smart enough? Come on, Victor, you know how this works. We don't negotiate there. You kill him, you get nothing. Don't give it to him. Don't you give it to him! Wait, it's my business if you're investigating my father's death. I am, and I'd like to get back to that. The sooner you leave, the sooner I can. Governor, I'll take the job. I sneak you the care. You solemnly declare upon my honor and conscience. I will act at all times to the best of my ability and knowledge. And that was to the answer. <laughs> Thank you, Governor. Season one, right? I've seen this one. Now it's my crime scene. The very first episode. The first one. You're going to tell me what Dan all means? Yeah, when you tell me what's in the box. The truth is, I don't know yet. All I know is that my father wanted me to fight. Right now, it's just a puzzle. But he's a business and family. Typically, we uh, would have been there already. Yes, yeah, she's. Can I tell you a secret? I'm still here. Close. So, after we have lunch here at the Bear Estate, we're going to go through um, the financial district. And I'm just going to briefly drive us through the Chinatown area so I can show you guys where the Wolf Fat Chop Suey restaurant is located, where they got the name for the arch villain for McGarrett. And then we'll also go past the um, headquarters for Hawaii 5 0. And also Iolani Palace. Has anybody seen Iolani Palace before? So we'll get a chance to see that. Be a, we'll do that today, okay? And then I'll take you through nice. uh, Ala Moana Beach Park. I'll show you where Kamakona Shave Ice location is located. And then uh, where they typically position the shrimp trucks for the show as well. Okay? <laughs> I saw the Gilligan's shrimp truck the other day. Yes, so that's the location where they where they place it. Okay. So whenever they film the Gilligan's shrimp trucks closes that day and then they, they bring in um, the whole crew and everybody and they do the scenes. But it's not a real business that's an operation for Kami Kona's shrimp truck, right? <laughs> it's just stuff uh, for the show here. Yeah, right. Oh, Does man. Eddie, the, the dog, live with my girl all the time or is it just a show dog? Yeah, it's just, he's, he's a an actor dog. An yes. actor dog. That's right. It's a beautiful dog that Brandon treats. Like Baba. Yeah. They cut three. Look, we're going to one lane up ahead because they're cutting trees. Gosh. Do you guys like dogs? I, I do. Yes. I dogs, do. cats, I like animals. Mm -hmm. I have two dogs, Shape and um, Rottweiler. Oh, like do you? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're pretty, um, the Rottweiler especially, pretty serious dog, huh? Yeah, it's um, trained, it's trained from the S baby with oh, yeah? one year old and went to dog training school. Very nice. Well very nice. Is he protective over you? Yes, very protective. Yeah, <laughs> You don't want to be in his bad side, I suppose. Yeah, right? that's right. <laughs> All right, now we're back to normal, guys. Back to business. See, this, it took us a half an hour just to get through that one area. Yeah. <laughs> so this is considered the eastern suburbs of Honolulu. And if you look to your left here, you see a lot of the homes are built over these ridges which overlook Mauna Loa Bay, which is to our right. So you get a nice perspective from the top here. Right? This is Mauna Loa Bay and also a place called Wailupe here. This is what the normal traffic is like here <laughs> at this time of day. Yes. Free flowing, right? I've never felt an earthquake in my life and I'm 50 years old. I've lived here all my life. So you haven't? Because we're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the ring of fire goes around the outskirts of it. So typically you guys have um, kind of affected more than us really. You know? But I know that in New Zealand a lot of the buildings um, are on rollers, right? Yeah. yeah? Try it in Japan. Yeah. Earthquakes all the time. Is that right? That's right. I, I was lucky enough to not experience one while, while I was there. Oh. So. I had two times two big times earthquakes. Big oh wow. Terrible. Scary, yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, we, we made it guys. Oh. So I'm going to go in ahead of us and just kind of prep our area and then I'm going to come back and get you. Is that okay with you guys? Good. It's okay. Take me, a, take me three minutes. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Um, but they are 
I guess prepping for an event that they're having here later. Um, so we're gonna they're gonna allow us to kind of yeah, be around. We'll them, wait okay? here and he's gonna I'll be right there. there. Again. Oh, wait, 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 what? If you enjoyed watching, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, if you hit that bell button, which is right next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter, all of the links down in the description box. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!